The following is intended for mature audiences only. Discretion is advised. Hi, and welcome to another episode of We're Done Here podcast. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe to our podcast wherever you may be listening to this. This week, I'm here with a comedian I really, really find hilarious, Liz Glazer. Thank you, Mika. I find you so hilarious. Oh, my God. And also, there was I wrote this down because I, it occurred to me in my head. I'm like, having a conversation with Mika on a podcast, like, I'm like, should I bring my lawyer with me? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, like, you... You go there and it's so wonderful. It is intense, isn't it's it? It's <laughs> awesome. No, it's amazing. It's just like, it's, you know, because I, I am more like whenever, okay, I, sometimes I do this joke like in yeah. law context because, okay. you know. You were a lawyer. Yeah, I was a lawyer. Okay. <laughs> but I'm a good enough lawyer to know that I should have brought a lawyer. Oh, because you, <laughs> you might incriminate yourself talking to me. Yeah, of right, course. right. No, that, I'm kidding. But like, anyway, so I'm glad that you got that no um, that's right no most people you know what because you're yeah. a lawyer you realize i ask crazy ass questions it's fun <laughs> i think it's great but i just notice it i think because there's such a difference like you know whenever somebody gets canceled mm -hmm. right i'm always like I would never get canceled because, like, I don't think I've ever said anything above a whisper ah. that I don't imagine would be brought up as evidence in a trial. God, and I say everything. What I mean. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's amazing. And, like, you know, I mean, I think for me, that's what's helpful about the process of comedy and, God. like, writing and whatever is just, like, because, you know, like, I think being just honest is the best it's always the best i mean i don't know how to be any other way i'm a horrible it's, liar uh it doesn't work for yeah, me. yeah I, I mean i'm i'm not good either but like <laughs> i'm just saying i think it's great that's no, my that's thesis you. statement <laughs> oh okay got it uh okay great and then liz i Mika. feel like when i <laughs> when i started doing comedy you were already doing comedy so tell yeah. us how you got into this well i was teaching for seven years as I was, a law professor as a law professor i know this yeah and, <laughs> <laughs> and i had just gotten tenure oh which wow, was like that's nice yeah it's nice and it's like you know the thing that like when i started the job that was the goal okay you know so then i i got it and yeah. i was working at a different school which is relevant because like I, I mean, I don't care about saying names because okay, yeah. What's nobody the, is bad in this story. But like, it. I worked at Hofstra, which oh, is a, Hofstra. a really good, yeah, exactly. I, know. I was going to go there. Yeah, great. But I went school. to University of Buffalo instead. Okay, great, yeah. awesome. <laughs> Both great schools. So that's where I worked. That's where I got tenure from. That was like where my permanent yeah, job was. Are you from Long Island? No, I'm from Jersey. Oh, okay, close yeah. enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I was born in the city, <laughs> Mount okay. Sinai Hospital. We I live, fuck with yeah. Mount Sinai. Really? That's my in hospital. what way? I mean, that's my that's my people's. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. That's my yeah. Hospital. Well, I guess same. Yeah. I was able to get a COVID <laughs> shot actually because I was in the system wow. from being birthed there. Wow. Yeah, because this was like in the days when like you needed a hookup. God. Like, you know what I mean? For God. a vaccine. Oh, I didn't know anything about that. Okay. It was just like somebody was like, hey, would you think you'd be in this? I'm like, I was literally born there. And then yeah. I was. And that's like, okay. Oh, wow. We that's can so get cool. You. Okay. Yeah. Go yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. August 7th, 1979. And like that, you know, whatever. But go on. So anyway, so. Uh, <laughs> but um, so I was working at Hofstra, got a visiting semester at Northwestern Law oh, School. Okay. Which was like, you know, really. That's also a nice school. It's Yeah, it's Very like nice. a big jump in terms of like whatever, okay. rankings and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Which is relevant because um, I was like kind of having a moment in a way hmm. in the sense of like when I was uh, I mean, I, I struggle with this all the time of just like thinking I'm good enough, thinking I'm smart enough or whatever. And like, super, good, super smart, but go on. Whatever. But I'm just, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think it has anything to do with like whether I am or I'm not. Yeah, and I'm yeah, certainly yeah. not fishing. But like, <laughs> I just mean that like getting tenure was like a moment of like, okay, yeah, I guess, I guess good. And then getting this visit to a degree was as well. Mm, and I think that's relevant just because like that semester basically, I wanted Northwestern to like be into me. And they were. Were like we're not really like uh, and they were right but they were like we just need someone to teach your class because i i taught property i think somebody was like out for the semester or something okay, and they just like needed someone to got fill it. the spot that makes sense and they don't there there's something like in the world of legal academia maybe general academia i don't know that it's there's a look-see visit mm. and there's a podium filler visit and got a podium it. filler is like you're just 
this here. Year. Right. Got You're it. doing checks or, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. <laughs> and, and then the, uh, I don't know if that analogy works out, but I think you Check understand. Checks yeah. a comedian thing. Right. right. Like it's, you know, whatever. Yeah. So, um, and then a look-see is like, you're here on an audition Got to maybe it. whatever. So anyway, I was the latter, okay? Podium mm. filler all the way. And all I wanted was for them to like want me to join them Got because it. that would fill my ego with like the knowledge supposedly that I'm smart enough or yeah, whatever. Yeah, I get that. I don't know. So anyway, at the time it was like all I cared about. And they, my friend on the faculty was like, okay, like whatever, they're not going to be into you. Like yeah. just have a good time this semester. Like teach your classes, but like don't stress about this okay. and don't come to that many things because it's going to come off desperate. Got okay? it. What's this have to do with comedy? You're getting there. Well, <laughs> <laughs> because then when somebody I knew from an improv class, which I took, because I was like, you know, having fun. Yeah. She was like, you should do stand up comedy. And I was ah. like, OK. And I was, you know, try- I wanted them at Northwestern to be into me, but they weren't. Got so I'm like, it. OK, well, maybe I'll just do a whole other thing. So I did stand up for the first time. I loved it. Because the Northwestern. Yeah. yeah, kind of. They drove you there. Well, so the irony is so a couple things. One, I did a show. It went you know well for like a first second time whatever it was but i almost got fired from the northwestern job Mm. because before that show i also did stand up in class because there was uh, like a day when like only five kids came to class because it was like a snow day but school wasn't canceled yet and they were like oh professor glazer can you do your stand up in class and i think if i had just like done you five did stand minutes. Up in class? Well, I did an hour and a half of riffing no. where I like stood on a table and did an impression of Tom Cruise on Oprah. Like I was just like, this I don't know. Insane. It's insane. Yeah. And so <laughs> then, and, and it, by the way, after that like class set or whatever, I was just like, oh, I'm going to be fine on stage because that was amazing. Like I truly believe that. Okay. And then I get a phone call from the associate dean. Like what the fuck are you doing? And, yeah. He basically was like, <laughs> he was like, hey, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I've actually never felt better and he's like okay well you're not in trouble but like a few of your students came by and they were concerned for your well-being no and i was like i remember this because i was like i know how this might sound but i'm gonna say it anyway which is that i've never felt better i love that and then i would have to go through a three-hour battery of tests with the psychiatry department of the university wow. to determine that I wasn't like a harm to other people or my, whatever. And that came <laughs> back like fine basically. And I was able to like not get fired. And yeah. then I have a meeting with the guy who called me the regular, the main Dean and some other like Dean of students. And I basically, I showed up and I was like, I knew I did something wrong. And so yeah. I basically was like, Hey, you know, here's the course corrected syllabus. Like, we'll get back on track. I'm sorry, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, okay. And <laughs> I was still like so excited. I'm like, but also, if you guys want to come to the show, like, I think I can get you free tickets. No. And they didn't. But then I, I did the show. There were two shows, but like, whatever. I had a video from one of them. Okay. I put it on YouTube because, of course, like a very beginner comic. I'm like, the world needs to see this. <laughs> and I, it was like, I mean. I've watched it. It's it's definitely not like good, good, but it's like, you know, there was stuff there. There and were so, moments where yeah, you could maybe. Yeah, I was like, this is you. You know, like, this is interesting. So anyway, whatever. So I send it to the dean. Okay. Because I had that confidence wow. then. Wow. Wait, you're crazy, and Liz. I know. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so then he writes me back. And this was like the irony of all ironies because, so he writes me back. He's like, thank you so much. I really enjoyed the set. And then, you know, he had like a thing. He's like, I was a little afraid that like maybe we would get phone calls from donors or trustees about oh, wow. this or that part you but really it, messed up. it didn't happen and so whatever <laughs> i thought it was what funny part? um well i had something about like my grandparents are holocaust survivors okay. four out of four and so oh, wow. i had something in there about like it was like basically about like fi- being able to find love for anyone and it, it's not that great a joke <laughs> but i basically was like you know like hitler is like really bad guy but like very organized the which beginning like, comedian Hitler joke <laughs> yeah right exactly <laughs> I mean I've heard it since I've heard I mean, other people yeah, say did, something I, I, when to that say effect Hitler, I'm like no right right <laughs> and so I, I had something like that but it did have a personal like yeah, bent because, because of, of whatever I but I, you know I don't like I don't stand 
against or by the joke. It's just like not something I would Whatever. say anymore. But anyway, so he, he was referencing that. But then at the end of the email, he's like, but the thing that really this set has made clear to me, and this yeah. I don't understand, he's like, is we at Northwestern did not consider you strongly enough for a full-time position on the faculty. Do you want to be considered? If so, send me your materials ASAP. Oh my Which God. Which was everything that I wanted at the beginning of that the semester. That is so crazy. Yeah, and it was such a moment of like a crossroads because I basically, I mean, that's an email that I would have replied so fast normally. But then you were doing this comedy thing. Yeah, but then, I mean, normally I would have replied so fast that they would have been like, never mind. <laughs> like, yeah. you're odd yeah. um, or something. You know, you're just yeah. like too thirsty, which I feel like is in general my okay. vibe. Got it. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but I, I basically, like, I don't know how long exactly it took me to reply, but like a little while. And I basically was like, no, I don't want to. Well, so that's how you got into comedy. Yeah. That was a very long winded answer. Oh, really? I like that, but it's funny. It's entertaining. I was entertained. Yeah. Uh <laughs> That's okay. I mean, no, it, it is long -winded. It is the complete answer. No, 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 no I know. It was, it was very long winded and complete. I love it. Uh, long winded is in general an insult. Oh, is it? Yes. Sorry. You know No, it's no, me. it's okay. I know. <laughs> but I'm just telling you, like, in general, if somebody says that, like, I feel bad, I feel like I should say sorry for that, but no. I know you don't mean it that way. No, it's, it was also yeah. very, I was on the ride. Oh, yeah. Cool. I love it. Yeah. Okay, great. I, you know what it is? Yeah. I just say what. That's no, true. I know. That was, <laughs> well, that's why normally I wouldn't say that. I'd just be like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I was long-winded." Don't not be sorry. Yeah, I love no, it. I know. Thank you. Okay, Mika. I, I love that. That's so <laughs> interesting. I love that transition. And now you're in another transition in your life. Yeah. You have like a baby, but yeah. then like you didn't have a baby, and yeah. you have a wife who's a rabbi. The yeah. whole thing. Yeah. Which All better to do jokes about that than the whole Hitler thing? I will say. <laughs> uh, Fair. And I did see you yeah. did a set recently. It's gonna air. Yeah. You had me. I mean, I was dead. Oh, thanks. I mean, I was like. Thanks. I, Mika. I, I, I appreciate like still it. talking about this set. Oh. I'm just like, ah, did you I'm see a, Liz? <laughs> I'm excited for it to drop. Me too. Especially the moment. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot you know? about that too. Anyway, yeah. you guys, will, maybe this, I don't know what comes out first, but yeah, anyway. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah, you are a new uh, parent. I am. And talk about that and doing comedy. Yeah, I mean, so. I have the most amazing wife. Okay. I truly and deeply I believe that. Wait, wait. Yeah, <laughs> I know. And I mean, in the sense, like we've always really supported each other. We both have intense jobs. My wife's a rabbi. So like, mm. you know, That's I remember, intense. yeah, it's very intense. And in some ways it's similar to the intensity of comedy because ah. like for us, yeah, tell me. Is it my my aunt's a reverend? Oh, really? Might be the same job. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so she gets. So do, do you feel like a resonance with her? Well, because she she they write out the sermons. Yeah. They deliver yep. the speeches. Right. They travel around. Yeah, totally. Delivering the speeches. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. It's like how and you also deliver. there's like there's I mean and I don't know if your if your aunt has this as well but like for my wife there's also the on callness of it yes because life cycle moments like yes. some of them you know about like a baby naming you would know yes. but people die unexpectedly yes. and then it's like okay we got to do the funeral and you know whatever and so i remember when my wife and i were first dating i we had like plans i don't remember mm -hmm. what they were like so stupid you oh, know whatever yeah. we're going to dinner we're going to lunch something and then she gets a phone call somebody died she has to like get on the phone with the family and then, you know there's like yeah, steps yeah, yeah. that happen and she's like i am so sorry and she was like saying sorry like i was gonna break up with her or something yeah. i was like dude like you're fine like yeah, do it's your job. fine right yeah, yeah. like i don't care and i feel like I definitely have had relationships in my past pre my wife, mm -hmm. as did she pre me, where people were just so not understanding yeah, about that's, the that's demands. Very, yeah, that's very hard. And yeah. we were both like so grateful to the other really that nice. we were able to, it's just like, you don't care. I'm like, yeah, I don't care that you like have to do your job. And moreover, it's a funeral. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the other day she had, to, I had a spot and we had to like negotiate to the minute, which is, mm. you know, something that happens with having a baby yeah, because they true. can't be alone in the house. Oh wait, do you have care for the baby? Well, or she's like, in daycare. Always... Yeah, she's in daycare. And then 
we, I mean, we definitely have a roster of babysitters and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. And then her parents, my mom, you know, everybody helps and that's great. Um, but like, we don't have like full time, you know what I mean? Got it, got it, yeah. Got it. No, so, sense, yeah. so it's whatever. It's just a process in certain moments, mm-hmm. but I had to get to the city. I live in New Jersey and I had to get to the city for like, I forget, like an eight fifteen or something mm-hmm. around that. And she's like, I have to literally, this is what happened. I have to marry a couple in a hospital room so that their father who's probably dying tomorrow Mm. can witness it like literally i'm like go you know (laughs) like you must do this thing and so it's so funny to me the stakes and the difference because i'm like i just have to like try out if this thing about brushing my teeth is funny like it's not <laughs> yeah that's true. you know what i mean it really like, is not that serious right. what we're but doing but the thing is that when we i mean if you were to have like a dash cam on my car mm-hmm. when i'm driving between spots and i i trust this is the same for most comedians yeah you would think i am in like an action movie <laughs> you know what i mean just because like and it's like what exactly are the stakes but they're so There's high so and stakes. I know. I mean, we think there are, but there right. are stakes. There We're are trying stakes. We're to get famous here. <laughs> That's the thing. We, want the, we want the fame and the fortune. That's what's at stake. But yeah, it's, you know, more yeah. important things are happening. Yeah, before. yeah. But it is, it's funny because like, I know what you mean. Yeah. And so does my wife know what we mean. Yeah. And also it's like that. I mean, she's talking like literal life no, and death and whatever. So it's like funny to me sometimes. No, but anyway, so with having a baby, I mean, I, I think like, you know, so one thing that's great, I mean, having a baby, I really love it. Okay. I love it. Some people, I think it's, all the parents are like, they're so tired all the time. Oh, yeah. You I'm seem, fine. You seem okay. <laughs> because yeah. you have a wife. You know what? I, I would mean, have a baby if I had a wife. But I well, like the, I need a man wife. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Are those around? I don't but know. the thing is, like, I also, I mean... It's not that I'm never like up late or Mm -hmm. up early Mm because I'm both. I take her to daycare, you know, so it's not... I mean, I I think I sleep well. I had one of those you sleep rings. Well? Yeah. Oh my kind god! Somebody, of. Another comedian I saw yeah. this this ring. Yeah. Thing. Well, mine fell off in the car, so I don't know where it is. But <sighs> when I had it, it and it was giving me the data. Yeah. I go into. I'm basically dead when I'm sleeping. Wow. And so I think that that's how I have as much energy as I do. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, because I need to get one of those rings. These these like health rings. You yeah. know, I would sleep more yeah. if my cat didn't fucking wake me up every morning. Oh, that happens to it's me real. too. It's like, What the fuck? Yeah. Do you it's yeah. like, what are you doing? <laughs> right. Get out of here. So right. anyway, not to blame on the cap. No, no, I, feel I like get it's it. a problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel you. So you get enough sleep. You like the baby. You're yeah. not like, oh my God. No. Is the baby like a tiger? Some people, some people's babies, I'm like, oh, wow, yeah. this child is <laughs> I the think devil. you would. No, she's not. I think you would enjoy her. Aww. She's like a fun... Like, I mean, I love there a fun are little cuddly baby. Yeah, there are moments when she's crying yeah, course, and cranky or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, she's really um, awesome. What is her? Well, I don't know if you want to yeah, say yeah. her name to the world. <laughs> Eloise. Uh, well, not that many yeah. people listen to this podcast. No, world. no, yeah. <laughs> oh, Eloise. Yeah, oh, that's so cute. We call her Wheezy. Oh, that's so Wheezy. So Wheezy's in daycare now. Yeah. I don't know if I should call her that. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't mean, know. Yeah, her preference but a lot of people call her that so oh that's so cute so yeah. daycare now yeah and then like i don't know so has it been a major adjustment for you guys or not really I mean, it's the kind of thing that it's yeah it is but it's also like i journal every day oh nice I like and that. i i say that at that moment because i think journaling is the single best choice i've made in my life to mm. do and the reason for it is because it allows me to understand what I'm really thinking and feeling in the Got moment. It. And it kind of stops time a little bit more. Yeah. And so I was, I had open time before we had a baby. And I know that because I wrote about it. Ah, And okay. so it's like, yes, having a baby changes everything because, you know, I never knew that my capacity for love was so expansive. Oh, and so I nice. look at her and I'm like, oh, my God, how are you real? And yeah. all of that stuff is very true. Yeah. Uh, you know, and it's terrifying and it can be exhausting and it 
can be a lot of things to do. Yeah. You know, it's all of that of stuff. Here, yeah. But I do have a wife, and I think that that is definitely something to consider. Um, and she's an if you am- want a amazing. baby, get a wife. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I mean. <laughs> It's yeah, that's that's definitely the joke answer of it. And (laughs) well, I mean, I'm somewhat careful about it just because it's like I want to give my wife as much credit as she deserves. But I'm also not trying to say like and I do nothing because it's not (laughs) accurate. (laughs) No, that makes sense. But also she she does like the you know, like I take her to daycare and I change a lot of diapers. Um, Those are easy things for me yeah um i definitely have been the person prepping the bag for daycare Mm -hmm. and prepping she does swim class which is the most adorable thing in the world um but like karen will like pack the bag for swim god you know what i mean Yeah, yeah, yeah and it's not that i've never done those things oh i don't know that i've ever packed the bag for swim but like (laughs) um you know yeah so i she does a lot and i'm not saying I do nothing. No, no, no. You do yeah. your part. Sure. No one said this. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's like I want to be accurate, but I'm not trying to say, like, you know, she does you under, everything. You understand. Yeah. Like, right. Everyone has their their, yeah. their spot in it. Yeah. I love, I love that. Any tips for other, I don't know, yeah. new parents? Totally. I mean, well, one thing is, especially for comics. Mm-hmm. I've said this to comics who are about to have a baby. The night feed is like your job. Oh. And that is a way that, cause generally speaking, like Wheezy still does this, like in the middle of the night, um, that she has a feed okay. and it ensures that she sleeps a little bit later in the morning oh, as okay, opposed yes. to waking I've up at people four talk or about five. This. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that's something that I can always do because I get home. home late at night. Yeah. And so it's like if Karen's sleeping, I don't have to wake her to do the like sometimes she's up yeah, because yeah, she's yeah. not like she goes to bed at eight or whatever. Yeah. Even if like she's not a comic, you know, yeah. but like I am able to do that. And so that's been like a huge thing because then I'm like some hero for doing the literal easiest. I mean, the night feed, yeah, because she's it's, sleeping. She's sleeping, and then you just change the diaper after you feed. You have to do that, or else they wake up like it's okay. super wet. Oh. Um, yeah, so you need to change okay, a diaper okay, okay. in the middle. Um, and yeah, and that's like a way that you can be helpful to your partner who probably has a regular job. Guy. Okay, you know? okay, guy. Okay, I love that. Yeah. Uh, that's so interesting. Well, thank you for sharing. Duh. Actually, thank you for sharing your uh transition to comedy through sure. the law school and about the new baby. Yeah, uh, for sure. Thing. Um so you're I, I guess I mean you're still a new parent. Yeah. Is, is there anything that you're not done with that you're digging on right now? I mean the parenting. The parenting. You're not done with <laughs> I mean, I'm hopeful for the you, you know, rest of my life. Are, is this Gen Alpha that you're raising? Oh, probably. They're crazy. <laughs> I don't know. These kids are like, they're a little insane. I don't know, but maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're raising Gen Alpha. Yeah. Okay. So they're like all into skincare. There's a bunch of stuff going oh, on. Oh, yeah. I heard Did about that. Did you see about this? Like, well, I, my friend's kid, I was just at her house and she's like, there is so much. Like they buy like a lot at Sephora. Yeah. Like they're yeah. ruining the stores. Like apparently right. adults oh. can't go. Like they're like running through. It's like really, a bunch of, yeah. It's just like their playground. Huh. I don't know. Okay. They're weird. I don't know. Yeah. But interesting. I heard. Well, somebody can't read. I think it's them. Okay. So make sure yours can read. You know, it's fine. <laughs> well, my wife is a huge bookworm. Okay, that's good. really reads a lot, and that's it's good. so cute because Eloise will take books. Aww. I have like a lot of pictures of her, and she looks like she's reading. She's not, Aww. but like she'll just roll around, find a book, and then she puts her feet up and then puts the book. Her, yeah. Our future reading yeah. books. Oh, yeah. so cute. And my mother-in-law is a, she's a Montessori teacher. People love the Montessori. Oh yeah. And my mother-in-law is the know. captain. Is of, that a cult? No. Oh, probably. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. But Everyone anyway, wants a Montessori. Like, Montessori. She, she has actually a reading system. So if hmm. anyone wants to learn how to read, it's great. Kathy Perlman reading materials, but like, it's Dang. all like Montessori and you can like buy it for, you know, homeschool or yeah, whatever that cult it is. Yeah, is great, honestly. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. So like, anyway, but... But not done with parenting. And going to, her child's gonna yeah. read. Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, I I'm illiterate, but she'll read. <laughs> I no only professor. <laughs> no, I know, but I I'm, I don't have the attention span. I only listen to Audible. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I guess what am I not? I'm not oh, done yeah. with books. I. Re- 
You read books. You like I, reading books. I read. Books. Oh, yeah, cool. like yeah, like on like, the train and stuff. Uh, I read at home in my okay. house. Oh, but cool. you know what it is? Uh, I for a long time didn't read fiction. Okay. So Same. I don't. Do that. I like love nonfiction because it's Me like too. I'm reading, becoming educated. But yeah. then I got really deep into the fantasy, of course. Oh. So you have to be really nonsensical. It has to be a world I'm immersing myself in, or it has okay. to be facts. Okay. Yeah, I will not fair. read like a murder mystery. I do not care. Yeah, I don't care either. I really don't care about murder mystery. <laughs> um, but so I'm not done with books. Yeah. 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 And what book? So I've been reading. What books have I been reading? Um, okay. I love Isabel Wilkerson. Okay. She's a Pulitzer Prize winner. Oh. Um. So she, uh, she wrote this book called The War of the Warmth of Other Suns. Okay. So it was a Pulitzer Prize winning book. Cool. And it's about the Great Migration for African Americans in this country and how okay. like I don't know this follows like all these families like basically everyone left the South because the racism blah blah sure. blah blah. And it's like how cities like Chicago, Los Angeles, and New uh. York everyone goes to the North but then they're still racist there. Interesting. Sure. And yeah. then. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. And, and then, like, she has this new movie out called Origin. Okay. Oh. Uh, not Ava du, the brother, whatever. Duvernay. Yeah. yeah. Duver- I, I can't pronounce whatever. Sure, that lady. sure. Yeah. But the new movie is it, it talks about the transatlantic slave trade. It talks okay. about the um um the caste system in India. Okay. And then it also talks about uh uh Hitler just oh. to bring it full circle. Sure. And how basically all these systems of oppression are based on each other. Oh. Uh, yeah. So Hitler okay. uses the American playbook okay. for uh to oppress the Jews. Okay. Right? And then the Americans use uh the Hindu structure or whatever. Okay. Uh, you know, they have the the oh. lower class people. Okay. Anyway, their huh. little their little system to like learn to how to oppress the uh black population. Wow. Interesting, right? Yeah. Anyway, so that's why I'm not done with it's a little heavy this week. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sure, totally. <laughs> Sorry to talk about books, but anyway, I'm I, reading the the reading? the easy way to stop emotional eating. Oh wow, <laughs> who's doing that? Well, it's this guy, Alan Carr. You're reading it? Reading right oh my god, our producer Mike is reading it too. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not thrilled with it, but yeah. it's uh, it, it's getting there. Okay, it seems to be a lot of uh, circular talk oh, yeah, yeah. to begin That's with, but then I'm classic. Like, yeah, yeah, but then it's like I'm just getting to the meat of it. So uh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna text you. That yeah, too. please do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Emotional eating. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I ate four cookies this weekend. I feel horrible. Oh, really? <laughs> but I had my period. Whatever. Anyway. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I would like to get into this book as well. Well, maybe. Sure. We'll see. Uh, yeah. It's nonfiction, yeah. though. It is. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Well, yeah, look at that book too. Uh, but like, <laughs> Liz, where can our guests find you? Oh, um, dear Liz Glazer, mm. D E A R L I Z G L A Z E R dot com. Oh, okay. I love that, dear Liz, Liz Glazer dot com. Yeah. Great, great, great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, and you guys, this has been another episode of We're Done Here. <laughs> Yay.